Steve, what did she know and when did she know it? That is the question many have wanted to ask Senator Kay Hagan about the president's faulty promise that if you like your health insurance, you can keep it. Yeah, we caught up with Hagan and one of her more critical counterparts in the House, Renee Elmers, today and got an earful on where the new health care law stands. John Camp talked to both Elmers and Hagan. He joins us now in the Raleigh Eyewitness News Center with more on what they had to say. Yeah, you know, Kay Hagan and Renee Elmers both up for re-election. Uh, and the Affordable Care Act will be an integral part of each of their campaigns. Here's what they told us about it today and can offer a roadmap maybe for how they plan to tackle this on the stump. Here you go. I think we all know that America has a long history of global leadership. Senator Kay Hagan talking about leadership today, but being attacked for her own leadership role when it comes to the Affordable Care Act. A public official like that going out and knowingly lying to constituents and citizens about such a huge law that's impacting so many people. I mean, lying's a big word. You're that's, comfortable with that word? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Brian Balfour with the conservative Raleigh think tank Civitas is talking about this promise made repeatedly by Hagan and the president. That if you've got health insurance now, you're happy with it, you can keep We asked it. Hagan about all, that today and she ducked the question more than once, each time blaming insurance companies instead. At some point, did you know that you couldn't necessarily keep your policy and still make that claim? You know, I think you look back at the insurance companies for three years sold these policies with out telling the consumer that they would have to be canceled. But basically by implication then, shouldn't Senator Hagan herself, someone who signed the bill into law, have known that as well? That's a question critics of the law and its supporters are latching on to. Representative Renee Elmers has been trying to scuttle the Affordable Care Act from the outset. We were made a promise. The American people were made a promise that they were going to be able to keep their health care plan. If they liked it, they would be able to keep their doctor. Now we're finding out that those things are not true. And so we've got to deal with that situation. We've got to fix it. But where Hagan didn't want to talk about that promise, she was quick to talk about the problems and potential fixes letting people hold on to their insurance existing policies, for example, extending open enrollment. Not on the table, the conservative solution. Scrap the new law completely and start from scratch. My opponents want to take us back, back to a time when insurance companies could deny you from getting insurance if you had a pre-existing condition, could take away your insurance policy once you got sick. People don't want to go back. Now, you may recall, Hagan was recently joined at a fundraiser in Chapel Hill by Vice President Joe Biden. We asked Hagan if President Obama was going to hit the campaign trail on her behalf here in the Tar Heel State. We didn't get a straight answer to that either. Hagan said she expects he will be in North Carolina campaigning, but wouldn't say if that will include her campaign. Steve? Interesting developments today, John. Thanks.